Millionaire and star of Netflix's How to Get Rich, Ramit Sethi explained in a recent interview that you are not a failure if you rent. Home ownership is overrated. I'm Ramit Sethi. I'm a New York Times best-selling author and I teach people how to live their rich life. He further explained, I am tired of the blind obsession with home ownership in America and all around the world. The price of housing has gone way up and the effect especially on young people, people without money minorities is to make them feel that they are failures. Here are 5 factors that indicate why renting can make you wealthier than owning a house. Renting offers more flexibility in terms of location and mobility. Renters can move to different cities or neighborhoods easily without the hassle of selling a property or worrying about the fluctuating housing market. Maintenance and repair costs. When renting, landlords are generally responsible for maintenance and repairs of the property, which can save tenants a considerable amount of money and time. Lower upfront cost. Renting typically requires less upfront cost than buying a home as renters do not need to make a down payment or pay for closing cost which can be substantial. No property taxes. Property taxes can be significant expense for homeowners and renters do not have to worry about this additional cost. And the last and the most important one. Opportunity cost. The money that a person would spend on a down payment, closing cost and mortgage payment could be invested elsewhere, potentially earning a higher return. Data suggests that the stock market has always outperformed the real estate market. Most people don't understand that you don't need to own something to enjoy it. You can just rent it. Having more cash to invest and seizing business opportunities is always better than owning a thing that does not generate any income. Owning a house and buying a house and taking out a mortgage and taking on debt ain't all that it's cracked up to be. The Realtor Association of the world uh, has done a great job of saying renting is throwing away money because that's what the American <laughs> dream was 50 years ago. Yeah. Buy a house, two car garage, picket fence, 2.2 yep. kids. That's what the American dream is. The American dream today is economic freedom. Pick and choose wherever the hell you awesome. want to go. Keep it moving and stay flexible and keep your overhead low. So what people forget is that, all right, you know that if you're going to buy a place, first thing you're going to look at is the mortgage payment, right? So typically, in the last six months, it's gone from 3% to 6%. That's double. I'm not a mathematician, but I'm pretty sure 3 to 6 not is double. Good. But the three things that people forget about when they go to buy a house, and for those of us that have bought a house, they get it now. Those of us that have not is what I call the big three expenses. That's your taxes, your maintenance, and your insurance. Those are three things you do not have to pay for if you're renting. If you want your most important questions answered regarding business, personal growth, and personal finance, stay connected. Hey.